Hey, Grade 11s. So here is the exercise that you've been working through for the last few, few days. Um, it gives you a triangle and it tells you that the vertices of the triangle are A, 4, 3, B, negative 2, negative 2, and C, 2, and negative 3. Okay, so the first question says calculate or determine the length of AC. And it should be easy because A and C are totally known. Their, their coordinates are given to you. So if you look at the solution, there it is. 3 minus minus 3 in brackets squared refers to the two y values. There it is, 3 minus minus 3 all squared plus 4 minus 2 all squared is the a's 4 x value minus the c's x value of 2. Okay, you'll see that the solution deals with the y's first and then the x's. It really does not matter. Either way works just fine. The answer gives you root 40. Otherwise, in simplest third form is 4 root 5. Okay. Number two, work out the midpoint, or well, we're going to call it letter D, of the line AC. So there's the line AC. So somewhere here, and it looks pretty close to the x-axis, will be the midpoint, which we're going to call D. So remember, how do we work out the midpoint? We add the two x values and divide by two. We add the two y values and divide by two. So looking at the solution here for number two, D, first of all, it says there, four plus two divided by two. So the two x values, so that's six over two is three. And then the x, the y, y value, sorry, negative three plus three divided by two is naught over two, so naught. So there's these coordinates three and zero. Number three, work out the gradients of AB and of AC, right? So there's AB there, a positive direction, and AC is also, also positive. What's the formula for the gradient? Change in y over change in x. You have to go the same direction. You can't say the change in y from A to B and then the change in x from B to A. You have to stick with the same direction as, as well as with the distance formula. Okay, so here's my solutions. The gradient for AB ends up being 5 over 6 and the gradient for AC ends up being 3. Do you notice that AB is a more of a what? Flatter line A to B versus AC, which is far steeper than AB. And that goes with the answer. AC was a gradient of three, so it's far steeper than AB, which gradient is only five over six. Okay, Mr. Norman's added in here, it is easier just to note five up and six across, and it's a positive direction. So you're gonna eventually get quite good at, at working out gradient, and instead of doing the whole um, bunch of calculations, it's quite easy just to spot that you're moving five up as in y and six across as in x. Same with AC, two across and six up for AC. Okay, number four, work out the equation of the straight line BC. Right, so in order to work out the equation of a straight line, we need to fill in the y equals mx plus c. So we need the m, the gradient, and we need the y-intercept, the c. So first of all, the gradient is a negative direction. We can see it from, from the line. So let's go work out the gradient. BC is equal to negative a quarter. Okay, negative a quarter. Let's just check. Change in Y, negative 2 to negative 3 is a 1, right? 1 up or down. And negative 2 to 2 is a change of 4. So 1 over 4 and it's negative. So that is correct. There we go. That's that line of working out there. Right, then this next line here is possibly new to some of you. We are going to do now substitute in a value into our formula y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1. So there is the m value, the negative a quarter, and we have substituted in 2 and 3 as it lies on the line we're dealing with. So y plus 3, how come it's plus 3? Because minus minus 3 for the c value is equal to the m value and x minus 2, minus 2 because there it was a 2. So what's our formula? I'll say it again. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. m x minus x1, yes. So then you times this negative a quarter into the bracket there, again with the x and with the negative 2, and you'll bring the positive 3 across by minusing it, and there is the equation for the line BC. y is equal to negative a quarter x minus 5 over 2. Okay, I'll, I'll continue with the explanations in the next video.